All right, people. So I'm here with your raw review, and I know I wasn't I wasn't gonna mention this, but I said if Roman Reigns uh, didn't win, I would wear a fucking baseball helmet in one of my raw reviews, or if he if he won at Survivor Series, I would wear a helmet in one of my raw reviews, and he won. Yeah, he lost, you know, uh, after he won, but he did win. So I said I would do some shit and. That's why I'm wearing I, I said I wouldn't say, that's, I, you know, that's why I was wearing it. But I don't want people coming on this video saying, oh, why is this guy wearing a fucking baseball helmet? He must be a retard, but that's why I did it. But, any, but anyway, let's get into this raw review. We get the show started off with the authority coming out to cut a promo. You know, it was either, you knew it was either going to be Roman Reigns or the authority to start off the show. Probably 95% sure that was going to be the case, and it was. So we just get a fucking long ass promo, a very long ass promo from the authority, you know, basically talking about how Triple H is the greatest and everybody else, you know, should bow down to him or whatever the fuck. It's just very long and dragged out and, point and pointless. I mean, you're not going to look back on this show and think, wow, yeah, it's a very classic Triple H promo there. It wasn't. It was just long, long, dragged out, boring fucking promo. Then we have Owens defeating Ziggler, and I've I've said that they keep it seems like they keep doing like Owens the three guys Owens Ziggler Ambrose they keep recycling them in one on one matches and I'm getting so sick of it they they just keep doing this shit and it's boring it's you know the matches aren't good um, so. Yeah, I'm very tired of this, and this one was not, n nothing different. It was just an unoriginal, boring fucking match. So I'm 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 gonna give it one out of five stars. I mean, some people might oh it's a great match, you know oh why is it a great match? Oh because Dolph Ziggler hit a super kick when Kevin Owens is running into the corner to hit him. It's like then people like mark out for that moment. It's like raise your standards, people. Raise your fucking standards. Then we have the Dudleys defeating the social outcast and this again you know these are there's just so many matches on this show that consist of jobbers and are just fucking pointless this is one of them so you got fucking florida there too whatever the fuck his name is he doesn't make the match any more entertaining um yeah he, he was just basically standing there for the whole match it's not like he did anything uh and Social outcasts, what are they? they've been fucking in a group for now for a few weeks and they're already major jobbers. <laughs> I mean, this is it's pointless to put these four people together if you're not going to do shit with them. So that match sucked a half star out of five. Then we have uh, jo uh, AJ Styles in his debut match defeating Chris Jericho. Now, I don't know about you, but did Chris, didn't Chris Jericho look fucking high? Like... They, they zoomed into his eyes, his face, and there were, his eyes were like fucking, you know, beat red. They were so fucking red. And like some of his moves, he was like laughing like when he was, you know, had a chin lock on AJ Styles, I believe. And he was, some of his moves were like kind of sloppy, I thought. So I don't know, it's like, but the match wasn't that good, I didn't think. I mean, it was just typical fucking moves again. You know, people are going to go ape shit. they're going to... Say, oh, oh, it's a great match. Why? Because it was a fucking, you know, typical-ass counter or typical move in this match. It's like there's nothing good in this match to give it, to give it a good rating. I mean, this, this match should have been better. I, I don't know. Maybe Jericho's losing it. I mean, he is like 45. So, I don't know. But this match wasn't good. I'm going to give it 1.25 out of 5 stars. Definitely a medi mediocre match here. Then we have, you know, the, the shit continues here with Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks ending the disqualification. So we had a pretty decent moment there at the Rumble last night when Becky Lynch um, uh, came, or uh, Sasha Banks came out and confronted Charlotte. You know, maybe we're hinting at a possible push for Sasha Banks. And I said in my Rumble review, I can't get too excited about this. Because you know they always fuck shit up when they tease you're going to do something good. And what would they do? Tonight on Raw, a fucking three minute match here ends in a disqualification with Charlotte beating everybody up. And it's nothing good. 
it's it's nothing special and it's just blah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what it is. It doesn't advance the storyline. It doesn't get anybody excited. It's just boring. So that's a zero out of five star match there. Then we have Bray Wyatt defeating Kane. And when you can get, and when a member of the crowd is, is 10 times more over than both Bray Wyatt and Kane combined, you know that there's a fucking problem. I mean, hell, fucking the guy in the crowd was 10 times more over than probably 90% of the roster was. Tonight. He probably got the biggest pop tonight besides The Rock. I mean, that's fucking sad. And they even had to move the guy because he was getting too much attention. See, that's the problem. Vince McMahon's more worried about a fucking, some, you know, three losers in the audience. They're not losers, but you get what I'm saying. He's more worried about three people dressing up in the audience as opposed to making his product better. So they move those three guys to where nobody can see them anymore. Well, if you put on some good fucking ass product, Vince McMahon, we wouldn't be paying attention to those three guys and would instead be paying attention to the shit going on in the ring. So that, that Wyatt Kane match was just a fucking brutal, pointless fucking match. These are the fucking matches you get with three hour Raws. Jobber, pointless matches that nobody gives a damn about. So that's a zero out of five star match there. Just a boring match between, quite frankly, two boring wrestlers. I mean, Bray Wyatt, I thought, I thought he was good. He used to be good. But over like the past year or two, he's really gotten worse. I don't know if that's because of creative uh, reasons, you know, the creative team or... He's just getting worse. I don't fucking know, but he's not entertaining anymore. And then we got the fucking, the best Raw segment in fucking God knows how long. I mean, this was a fucking awesome fucking segment here. He got The Rock. First, he, 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 it's The Miz. Oh, it's The Miz coming. And then The Rock pulls up in a fucking truck. I thought it was Steve Austin first, but. So it's The Rock. And I thought, I was thinking earlier in the night, well, this guy could be The Rock because they're in Miami, and it was. So he cuts a decently funny promo with uh, with uh, Lana and Rusev. Pretty funny promo. Um, kind of funny there with Big Show too. A little bit funny. Um, and then he comes to the ring, and you, you know, and then the fucking. It's cool how he went and talked with those three other guys dressed up as uh, you know legends. That that was funny. You know, he was saying, "Oh, he's really smoking some good weed tonight," and. Uh, then he was talking, and then the New Day come out. I'm like, oh shit, this is fucking awesome. The New Day confronting The Rock. And the New Day fucking had a great ass promo on The Rock. Funny, entertaining. Then The Rock rebuttal was also also awesome. With the the the, 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 the llama penis reference. And it was a very fucking, you know, calling people bitches. I mean, shit, it was a very, you know, talking about sex. You know, it was a very funny, very TV-14, non-PG, great fucking promo. This was a great segment. I mean, this was awesome. It, no commercials, just like a fucking, this was great. You know, I've been ranting on this company for a long-ass time, but they really put on a good showing here. This was, I, I would love to see more of these segments. Can we see more of these, please? You know? But yeah, very, very great. So we go from that. The Rock cutting a great-ass promo with The New Day also. Give them credit. They cut a great promo. To Natalia and Paige def <laughs> defeating uh, Brie Bella and Alicia Fox. Like, fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> you know, this is a shit you get. You, you know, you go, you go from The Rock to Natalia and Paige, and then you get... Fucking Kalisto and Miz. I mean, come on. And then you get a fucking horrible ass main event. So Natalia and Paige defeat Brie Bella and Alicia Fox in like a two minute match. Boring, pointless. Do I have to say anything else? Uh, you know, the, 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 these divas are lucky. You know, people are even reviewing their matches. I mean, they don't really even deserve to be in any raw reviews here, here on YouTube. But yeah, another zero out of five star match here. Then we have Kalisto defeating The Miz. And again, just another boring, fucking pointless match. I mean, who the fuck's really paying attention at this point at 10.30 at night? Uh, probably like 2% of the population watching this show. So yeah, 0 out of 5 stars there. And then we get the main event, and just about the most generic fucking main event. I mean, this was the most basic fucking main event I could think of. You had Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose defeating Sheamus and Rus was it Rusev? 
I believe, I don't fucking know, because I wasn't hardly paying attention to this match. I mean, who the fuck's going to pay attention to this? I mean, this was an awful ass main event. So I'll give the match like 0.75 out of 5 stars. I mean, this was just a brutal fucking main event to sit through. I was hardly watching, probably watched half of it, because I was printing off some shit on the computer I had, so I was like, looking back and forth, you know, my, com my computer's facing that way, but my TV's facing that way, so, they're not in my room, they're downstairs, but, so, I, you know, I was looking at the computer, and then looking back at the TV, so, I, I wasn't watching the full match, but, I mean, that, you, you know, WWE makes you not want to watch, so that's the problem, it's a fucking three-hour show, nobody has the attention span to sit through three hours of fucking, or tonight, two and a half hours of fucking garbage, thanks to The Rock, but, yeah, this that, that main event was just awful. Oh, and Roman Reigns, you know, all these people saying Roman Reigns is over. Booed last night, and if you watch his entrance to tonight, barely got any cheers. I mean, probably, you know, again, five people cheering for him there in the fucking audience. So, yeah, Roman Reigns is really over. He's a complete failure. And if he goes on, oh, yeah, they announced the main event fast lane too. Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. Dean Ambrose in a triple threat match, and the winner will face Triple H. Oh, I wonder who's going to win that one. Oh, wow. It's pretty predictable that Roman Reigns will fucking win that match. Who could take that? Probably take that to the bank right there. Although, when I've guaranteed wins, I guaranteed Roman Reigns would win the title at the, or yeah, would um, win the title at the Rumble. And, um, and he, um, well, he actually didn't. He, you know, lost. He did win, but then he lost to fucking Sheamus. And then, and then I also said Triple H wouldn't win the Rumble, but he did. So I've been fucking up on my predictions, but I do not think that Roman Reigns is going to lose this match. So, but there, there you go, people. There's your fucking uh, a raw review. The show was pretty shitty, besides the one Rock segment. But one segment, especially on a three-hour show does not make the whole show great. So let's not call this show, show great. We can call the segment great because it was, but let's not call the whole Raw great. Um, I'm going to give this, this this show two and a half out of ten stars because of the one great segment. But other than that, everything else was horrible. I mean, they're luck. if The Rock wasn't on here, this would have been a, a three hours of complete garbage. Would have been, but, but there you go, people. There's your Raw review.